let's see, what is it, July 21st, so back from vacation, back working on the USS Pyrie Reese, uh, and I am putting on the weathering decals. I actually had another set, actually I had two sets, because I, I have another f Enterprise that's a uh, hole in the box, uh, or I should say, you know, complete in the box. Uh, so I have a, another two sets of weathering decals, so I was just going to do, uh, you know, the streaks that I had left over from my Enterprise, and then uh, I was like, oh, hell, let me just put this, put it on the saucer. So right now, and that's what I'm doing, uh, so the saucer got shot with a uh, clear coat, used the, the Krylon Crystal Clear, kind of lightly sanded with some uh, 3000 grit sandpaper you know any kind of uh, any kind of hazing or whatever you want to call it not orange peel but uh, just a little bit of uh, graininess I guess you know wasn't completely smooth so anyway did that now I'm applying the decals so I got the bottom of the saucer uh, done flipped it over and now I'm working on the top so I'm uh uh, what the hell is it? One, two, three. I think I got like three or yeah. Can't talk. Got like three wedges back uh, uh, on the top here, so uh, just slowly working around. And uh, like I said, I'll bring it back. Uh, show you where we're at. Like I said, I, I plan on using some of the decals I have from uh, the uh, what the hell is it? The uh, the pilot series. God, can't talk today. I don't know what the problem, but anyway, I'm gonna utilize some of the some of the other markings. Uh, not so much, you know, the Enterprise and the 1701, but just some of the other uh, added decals, just to kind of give this thing some life. So, anyway, all right, come back when I'm uh, right, gonna try this again. On. Had a dead battery. Uh, all right, back here with you on a Saturday afternoon. Smoking ass hot outside. Fucking heating. <laughs> Excuse me. Heat index is like 130 today, so uh, trying to do as much as I can in here, inside, rather than trying to sweat my butt off outside. But anyway, making progress. I got about uh, three quarters of the top saucer uh, wallpapered, so to speak. It's going down nice. A um, couple of issues though. Uh, I don't know what the hell it was. I got a little bit of silvering on this left quadrant. So, uh, a little model makeup may, uh, well, actually, when I spray it with the clear, <coughs> see how it looks. If not, then a uh, little model makeup cover it. It's only a small spot. It's probably about half the size of my fingernail. So, anyway, I got these back two wedges to do on either side of the uh, dorsal of the uh, nacelle. Uh, that side, that side. Uh, just kind of playing around with some decals. I don't know if you can see that down in there. It give you motion sickness, but uh, like I said, trying to use up some of the other decals uh, that came with the 1701 uh, you know, complete kit. So I'm thinking thinking uh, I got two of these and I'll probably put uh, put this one here, put the other one, the matching one on the other side pretty well lines up and then the uh, you know the the piece that uh, the decal that always goes behind the little square uh, rec uh, it's L-shaped I guess you could say a little outline probably put that there like I said just trying to mix it up so that it's not like the Enterprise um, you know may weather it a little more um, you know just like so one to sell so I get it uh, <coughs> get it all weathered up you know if this is a uh, Call it the stellar cartography, stellar cartography ship. Uh, you know, map making. So they're you know, figure they're going into gaseous anomalies. But uh, you know. anyway, all right. That's it for now. Let me. Uh, I'll flip it over and show you the bottom. All right. So uh, I got the bottom. Got the bottom done. Uh, like I said, it's pretty heavily weathered. Uh, you know, glare showing on there, but. Uh, uh, other than that, it came out pretty good. So, what I have to do once I get the top done is do the uh, 
the the rim of the saucer with the ga uh, yeah with the gaskets with the uh, with the decal so but uh, overall came out came out pretty decent so we'll see how it looks when it's all together all right that's it all right <coughs> Larry back here on this hot August night um, continue working on the uh, Pyre Reese here uh, I have all the uh, wallpaper uh, weathering on you know I had an extra kit <coughs> as I explained so I got the uh, top and bottom on I've been using uh, some of the decals from the uh, the original I should say the pilot series so uh, just like I said trying to mix it up make it different so um, so this is the bottom now I have to I have to admit when I first started putting them on I was using the uh, Microsol, so now <clears throat> I've gone to uh, this stuff here, this Walther's, Walther's, I guess that's how you pronounce it, Walther's, and uh, it really, it really laid it down, because I had some spots that just were not uh, sitting down with the uh, Microsol, um, and I applied a couple of coats, or a couple of uh, applications of the, uh, that Walther's, Fathers, and it settled it down. <coughs> so, uh, what I'm going to do next is print. Oh yeah, print. <coughs> put a gloss coat over it because these kings kind of uh, dulled everything down. I don't want to put the uh, registration decals over the wallpaper decals. So, uh, hey, let me take a minute. Let me flip right. this thing. <coughs> this is the top hole. Like I said, I've been going around and uh, I use the Walthers, 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 say it, um, and applied. So, like I said, I've used, these are some of the decals that came with the uh, first and second pilot series. So, like I said, just mixing it up, make it different. So, uh, what I'm going to do, what it's, what this is not showing you, turn this around, is I got to put the, uh, the windows in the panel windows so uh, we'll go from there so anyway all right that's that for now next uh, next up is the uh, put the registration decals on so show you what it looked like before I did it so like I said the wall the, uh, let me let me add something here to the wallpaper uh, putting these down when I put them on my original enterprise you know they come in pie wedge and what I didn't know is there's an overlap so you have maybe a, a 16th or a 32nd um, of the wedge with the one side that does not have any color on it and that is meant to go underneath the next one over so when you follow the directions I think you start with one two three four you know and you go all the way around you come back here you're at uh, I don't know 16 or something like that but it's designed so that that seam uh, is overlapped and that's so you don't get any decals that are butting up I guess one uh, you know against one another so um, you know other than that they, they give you a nice effect and like I said this isn't the Enterprise uh, you know I'm using this as a uh, as a uh, mapping exploration kind of a stellar cartography ship so you would expect something like that that's hitting uh, areas like that that would be you know heavily impacted uh, going through it so anyway <clears throat> kind of where I'm at right now uh, like I said I'll show you uh, show you what it looks like with the uh, registration on so all right, all right. <clears throat> back with you on this Monday I guess it's what the 13th 14th something like that uh, slowly make a progress been hot as hell out so I don't want to work in the garage it's just been way too freaking hot um, I did manage to get a clear coat on this actually it was more of a satin uh, wasn't the shiny wasn't the shiny Krylon it was the uh, I guess the satin wasn't flat but uh, it gave it the appearance of it dulled it down so as you can see I got my decals on they're sealed uh, I what I should do is mention once I put the wallpaper decals on you know the um, the weathering 
I took uh, some 1500 grit sandpaper and just lightly went over the top of it uh, and I mean lightly like the weight of my the weight of my fingers and just glide you know kind of glued around the uh, yeah glued Whew. brains fried just kind of glide my hand around the uh, around the decals and what it had done was it kind of toned down the colors and if you've ever put these on you know you've got a really heavy green and brown splotch here uh, and it kind of toned that down which I like like I said this isn't the Enterprise <clears throat> and uh, I didn't, you know I didn't want it too heavy but I did definitely wanted it uh, to show that it's been weathered uh, the other the other thing by taking the 1500 grit sandpaper was it, it kind of feathered the edge of the decal these things are nice you know they go on but they leave like an oval uh, an oval outline uh, so I feathered that down and uh, with the 1500 grit sandpaper and went from there uh, as you can see I got the uh, pennants on the nacelles both sides um, turn around make you seasick so that came out nice uh, what I'm gonna do now is start putting on the uh, you know the smaller parts you know the the top windows whatever the hell you want to call them panels uh, get the front get the front on get the uh, I guess the inner coolers on get the, the nacelle end cap on um, and flip it around and put that piece in there uh, that like I said it's the opaque uh, opaque plastic not white but it's uh, it's like an opaque so that'll go in there um, like I said the rest of this came out good I changed up the underside of the saucer as you can see so what I did was I can individually cut out the letters and uh, started in the center and followed this uh, followed this rim line you know I got it's kind of hard to see on camera but as you can see there's a faint <clears throat> so I got the faint grid lines in there and I just followed that with this here um, that's it for the decaling I'm not gonna decal anymore but uh, it come out good so pretty happy with it so when I come back I'll have the uh, you know the impulse on I'll have uh, all the smaller parts on and we'll go from there and then I'll start joining joining the upper and the lower so should go pretty good I'll be glad when it's done ready to move on so alright that's it for now on the USS Pyre Reese